Welcome back to Daytime. Well, this week we're celebrating Earth Week. It's a chance to make those green changes to your home. And we're going to introduce you to some family friendly and Earth family finds, courtesy of our next guest. She's our favorite mommy blogger. She's known as Base Draft from Base Draft's Thoughts. If you follow her online, Erica Klustra joins us again. Good to have you back. Thank you, yes. It, it's funny because when I, I was talking to you about this and said, you know, maybe for Earth Week we can look at some family friendly finds that you had. Your eyes lit up and you said, okay, this is something that's very near and dear to my heart. Yes, yeah. I. I'm, I have been celebrating Earth Day since I can remember, and I do it all year round. I always say Earth Day every day, so I love eco friendly, earth friendly products and try to raise my family that way. Well, and it's funny, when you become a mother, suddenly your eyes are open to a whole different world. We start to see the world in their kids' eyes, and I know for me too, I want to leave the world in pretty good shape for my kids. And, and there are lots of ways we can do it, and along with you know, the picking up the trash and recycling and doing all those good things, it's sort of having that front and center in mind when we're going out and purchasing items too. Right, yeah. You, you want to look for things of where they were made, you know, shipping overseas, it costs money, but it also costs the environment and uh, how they were like how they were made. Are they handmade? Are they made in a factory and things like that? Yeah, the how they were made is something that I've been trying to pay a little bit more attention to because it's too easy to go into a store and just pull something off a shelf and think I need this, and you take it home. Now, when you start to do a little more investigation into okay, well, what is the process that was used for this? How was it made? Where do the the products that are involved in the manufacture of this coming from? It suddenly becomes a very different product. Yes, it, it does. You, your eyes, even sometimes you look at something that's called eco-friendly, and then you realize how they were made. That how much is that really saving our planet? Right. Well, you've brought along a, a number of different items that you've come across in your day-to-day -day because often items are sent to you to sort of get your opinion on them. And these are three eco-friendly, family-friendly finds that you've got. And, and let's start because I think these are the cutest little things <laughs> ever. The little toques that you've brought along for us today. I love these. Uh, yes, these are uh, from a company called Petite Toques. It's a work-at-home mom named Jill who's from Quebec. And I, I picked this as a uh, uh, earth-friendly find because it's handmade. We buy a lot of our toques and it says made in Ch China, you know, mm -hmm. and this is handmade in Canada. So, and I just, I thought they're, they're, she makes adult, all the way up to adult sizes, spring hats, winter hats, and it just, she covers everything so you wouldn't have to go anywhere else to find a toque for your family. Well, and you know that it, it's being handmade, so there's not a lot of, emissions going exactly. into our environment and that plus it's a fairly close product coming from Quebec so it's just being you know shipped across the the provincial border to get here right which is beautiful I think that's my, so my girls love them they were actually upset that I took them away <laughs> for today <laughs> yeah especially today we could all use a tube today because it's cold enough outside I just wish it was a little bigger I don't know if I could stretch to fit my head or not that one's from Maggie that's a little one. <laughs> a little small you also brought along a series of books, and I mean, for, for those of us in Waterloo Region, you might think that it's a local author because we see the blue boxes on the front, and this, of course, is the area that is the home of the blue box right across Canada, uh, but it's not. Still a Canadian uh, book, though. Yeah, um, it's by an author named Brian. Uh, he's from Nova Scotia, and he's come out with a series called Joey the Penguin, uh, the book I'm showing you now is Preston Goes Green, and Preston goes to the North Pole to teach his new friends how to play hockey. In the meantime, he teaches them about global warming and the importance of three R's, reuse, reduce, and recycle. And so his friends, before they play their hockey game, clean up their home area. And I like it because it teaches your kids in a fun way how to take care of our planet. And the illustrations are gorgeous and just fun too. What I liked about it when I was reading through it is also it sort of tells the kids that it doesn't take an entire community to make a difference. You can make a difference right, too exactly. and it, it empowers them to be the change. Yes and 
like my kids, they love like if they see garbage on the ground, they're like, "Mommy, can I pick it up?" I'm like, "Yeah, we'll throw it away," you know. And <laughs> some of it, when we read this book, my daughter Linda was like, "Oh, mommy, that's what we do," and I'm like, "Yeah, that's that's why we do it. It's good for our planet." <laughs> my kids, when they were little, we used to go for walks. You know, they see the garbage and say, "We have to pick that up, right, mom?" I said, "Yes, you do. <laughs> go get it," and away they'd go. So, you know, it, it's good to be able to put those kinds of values and morals into our kids too, because mm -hmm. it is their planet that they're going to be inheriting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, I really like the idea behind the jewelry that yeah, you brought with us This is my favorite This is right really now. neat. Um, this is old tin roof jewelry um, made by Esther in the Yukon. It, it's actually a recycled, recycled jewelry. It started out as a gas can in the early 1900s and then was made into a tin roof for a log cabin, which was on her property. She had to tear down the cabin because it became unsafe for her children. And the wood of the cabin was being either used for a new cabin or firewood. And she felt really frustrated and like the waste of this tin roof. And right. she creates other jewelry. And so she had this aha moment of, I can make jewelry out of this. And so she has created, like I'm wearing earrings and a necklace. And this is another necklace. But uh, all, everything about this is just rich in history. The names of the necklaces, like this is Jessica and that's uh, Tilly, they're all women that were there when that log cabin was built. Really? So she's gone through and researched this whole area. Yeah, and, and like some of it is her relatives too. Okay. So th that's what's really neat. She told me in the Yukon, because they're so far away from places too with this tin roof, they don't like to waste and that's why the g gas cans were made into the tin roof in the first place and it's, easier for them to reuse than to just throw it away like we ha we find it easy it's just oh let's chuck it in the garbage but so to f make this jewelry oh it's just i couldn't believe it when i found this company actually well and it's a beautiful piece of jewelry along with that and you know we were just talking to valerie about being collector pieces there's only so much tin roof to exactly. go along so th these are too. really collector pieces eventually mm -hmm. because there will only be so many made yeah that yeah i was i was thinking that too the other day i was like you know, there's only so much tin roof she can make into jewelry before it's all done, and so they are limited edition jewelry. But it's a great incentive to go out there and find other things that might be thrown away if you weren't so thrifty and could make beautiful things like that. All the links for these and so many other products that you get a chance to take a look at. BaseGiraffe.com is where you go for all the information. You can follow along with uh, Erica's blogs there and all kinds of great advice. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you again. Love your ideas. We're back in a moment. Stay with us.